If you are getting a breakpoint error when running your go.game, navigate to the line of code causing the error, then press the red circle to the left of the line. This will remove the breakpoint. Now the game should run without any problems. A breakpoint is a marker used for debugging your code and can help inspect what is happening at the exact time when your game reaches a breakpoint line, as it will pause the game's execution just before that line activates. And in go. will provide what value each function and script variable had at the time of the breakpoint occurred, and will provide the order of function calls used to reach that breakpoint, also known as the call stack. To add a breakpoint, simply click the left margin next to the line number in your code. The breakpoint is displayed with a red dot. An example where a breakpoint could be very helpful is when taking damage and trying to find out how much damage the player actually took. In this example, we have a breakpoint when the die function is activated. And when we run the script, during the breakpoint, we have three tabs. The third is where every breakpoint and every script within your project files are. The first is each function that led to that breakpoint. You can see that this is also marked with an arrow inside the code editor. Selecting one of these, we can see the node that the script is attached to, selecting it to get every property value from it. Additionally, we can see every Every variable attached to the script. In this instance, we can select the take damage function and see that we were removing an amount of five before running the die function. To take this example even further, we can instead move the breakpoint to the moment where we remove health. This will allow us to see how much health we had before trying to remove any, as well as seeing the amount that we were trying to subtract. We can then press continue to allow the script to move past this breakpoint. In this example, because we've run the take damage function twice, we will hit another breakpoint. However, now you can see that health is equal to five and that we're trying to subtract another five health. This information and usage of breakpoints can be helpful in investigating whether an enemy is trying to run the take damage function too many times, or if the amount of health that they are trying to remove isn't correct. Another usage of breakpoints can be inside a for loop. In this example, we can find out what the enemy check value is equal to at the moment of the for loop, and we can press continue to iterate through each item of the array, ensuring that we don't miss any item within the array that we are running a for loop through. And don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.